Okay, guys, welcome back. Happy Christmas to everybody. And probably the final video of the year. So with Matrix Resurrections coming out, I thought it'd be pretty cool to cover Path of Neo, a game which I have fond memories of when it came out in 2005, as I'm a mega fan. But I suppose revisiting it now, I may have overlooked some of those flaws back in 2005. So let's get into it and let's talk through the positives and negatives of the game. You're empty. So are you. Now in 2003, Shiny Entertainment launched Enter the Matrix, which was their first attempt at a Matrix game. And that actually tied in with the Matrix Reloaded. And the biggest complaints thrown at that game were the fact is you didn't get to play as Neo, essentially. And there was also a lot of technical issues with that game. So two years later, they made Path of Neo in 2005, and I'm covering the Xbox version. So, as I said, you get to play as Neo now, and this game spans the entire trilogy, The Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, and Revelations. So the game is a blend of third-person action, whether it be uh, fighting using your fists and or weapons. Now, it kind of depends on the timeline and the levels you're on. I suppose once Neo becomes Neo, as in the one, uh, you kind of find yourself stop using the weapons all that much. And the thing about using the weapons in this game is the controls are awful for the weapons itself. It uses this lock system uh, but basically clicking in the analog, but uh, it's p completely random on who you actually end up selecting. But as I said, once you start fighting like agents and stuff like that, they just dodge the bullets anyway, so there's no point. Uh, so essentially you just find yourself uh, beating the shit out of them, really. Um, and that is actually where a lot of the fun actually resides. It's the actual hand-to-hand -hand combat itself. Now, every time you can beat a level, um, you upgrade Neo himself, and you can upgrade it through a various uh, ring trees, as you can see here, and you can select various combos, uh, special moves, etc. And uh, I suppose the more powerful Neo gets, and the further you get into the game, the more abilities he's allowed to unlock, and you can spend those points to unlock those abilities. So my feelings really are kind of mixed with this game. As I said, going back and experiencing it from how I felt back in 2005. Bear in mind, as I said already, I'm a massive fanboy of the Matrix movies. And look, when, what I gotta say is, when the path of Neo gets it right, it gets it really, really right. And you feel really, really cool being Neo. But when it gets it wrong and those technical issues continue to crop up, they really, really break the experience. And really, there are segments and certain levels that have absolutely awful frame rate issues. And bear in mind, I'm playing this on the original Xbox. Uh, God bless if you're playing it on the PlayStation 2 because that even has even more performance issues than the OG Xbox version. And again, it's all dependent on what type of level you're playing, how many enemies are around. It's so ambitious. The title is so ambitious. The engine doesn't match the ambition that they're trying to aim for here. And really, the, the frame rate to me is what breaks the game at times, and it just kind of spoils the experience in certain levels. But again, it's a bit of a lottery. You can find some levels are like, oh man, this plays really, really great. I'm having a lot of fun. And then you meet that oh god awful level that the frame rate grinds down to maybe 10 frames a second, even worse. And it just becomes unplayable at times. And it's just a matter of trying to horse through the level and trying to move on to the next one. But guys, not to deter fans from the game, if you're a big fan of The Matrix, you will enjoy your time here. I think you'll overlook some of those technical problems. And as I said, when the game does it right, it does it right. And you feel like a badass. You feel like Neo and you feel like a badass. This particular segment here, fighting Agent Smith, 
Uh, it's a memorable level and, and very, very cool. Bear in mind, it's not direct replication of the movie. There is some minor differences in how the story is presented and how it joins from one film to the next. So there's new material here as well. Now, there is some voice acting differences because they use the voice acting from the movie and then and then they have other actors filling in the gaps and, you know, pre- talking like Neo and stuff like that. But it's not actually Neo. It's not actually Keanu Reeves in some cases. So it just kind of sounds a little bit off, but it is pretty cool. And they did try and do something different to the three films itself. Uh, anyway, guys, that's just look, a quick look at the Matrix Path of Neo on the OG Xbox. Still a fun experience to be had, especially if you're a massive fan. Uh, guys, if you like what you see, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, don't forget, uh, this is probably the last video before Christmas. I've got stuff planned just after Christmas. Uh, they'll come out probably next week or the week after. I'm just going to take a bit of a break from the channel. Enjoy the Christmas. Um, I might sneak in a stream before the 23rd if I can. Uh, and guys, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate it.